Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 50 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and today we're going to learn how to write text to an online file on your website. Now first of all, um, before I start, let me say, yeah I know, I told you it'll be like the 15th or something of August that I'll start making new tutorials but thanks to Shirkash, like paying late and then like when I ordered my mic um, it was like on a sat no it was on like a Friday and then like they won't deliver on Sunday and then it was a bank holiday Monday so you know didn't have much luck but finally got my new mic um, and yeah I hope it's better than the last one and yeah so um, welcome to this tutorial and today as I said we're going to learn how to write text to an online file on your website now we're going to use a bit of PHP here and do not worry if you don't know how to use PHP um, it's pretty straightforward and you don't even really need to understand the code much to use it we're just going to learn how to make a request and yeah that's it so for this tutorial um, please go to the link in the description for all the source codes that you'll be needing it's the PHP um, source code and the vv.net source code so yeah step one is we need to register on a free web host or if you have a web host that's even better but today um, I'm just going to use Ripway I have a host but you know just because I know a lot of people don't and um, go to Ripway and then go um, to register whatever it is and then just fill in the details and then it'll have some add things and just keep clicking skip and yet then you'll be able to log in so go to my account and go to my files and what we're going to need is the PHP file. Now, if I go to my desktop, I have it right here. It's called post.php. And all it's saying is, um, if you don't know PHP, then it's just declaring the variable message as get, which is it, it's um like it's like post, but it's uh, I, I won't explain to you that right now because we're gonna learn in a third tutorial. But um, we're gonna get W, which I'll show you what it, that is right now and it's going to say log the variable variable log file is data.txt which is the file we're going to be writing into and then it's going to open log file and then write message which is this right here and then it's going to close it and that's all you need to know so I'll save that and I'm just going to upload it so click upload files on Ripway hit browse desktop and where is it? Here it is. And upload. Okay, now I'll go to my files and you'll have a link. Right click that and copy link location. Okay, now go into Visual Basic and create a new project and call it Write to Online File. Okay, now all we're going to need for this is a text box and a button. So double click make a text box whatever size you want this is just going to be the text that we're going to write to the online database or online file sorry and then add the button and double click it now we're just going to use a web request to write the value of text box 1 into that text file on our website all we need to do is declare request as web request equals web request dot create and now we have our site paste it there and if you don't have that you need to go to get the location of your post dot php and I showed you what that was before and what we're going to do is after that we're going to put a question mark and then w equals now you know when I said I'll explain what w is well this is and ignore that little error there um, this W is when we let me just show you here what this is going to do it's going to get W and then post it like it's going to make message the value of W and then post it to this text file so that's basically all you need to know to understand what's going on here on one sec I've got do import system.net and I've spelt that wrong sorry about that okay now we're going to make need to make w something and that's going to be the value of textbox1.text so 
text up on the text there and what the hell I was Oh cr sorry uh, you need to um I'm just quite tired right now. But uh ah, bloody hell sorry and then you have the that uh add them together there and now all you need to do is do quest get response whoops and that's it really um we'll test this out I'll debug that and I'll say the value is going to be hello world hit button one and if we where's refresh refresh it and we have data.txt which is in the PHP file what the file name is called we go here and you see it's posted texting lol testing lol sorry I'm quite tired right now and yeah that's all you need to know really for that um, you can alter the text you know you can use this to track who uses your application um, you know f as a security feature you know that's just um, what you can usually do that and um, sorry I forgot I'd like to credit I think his name's Tofix or something for the PHP file so thanks for that um, yeah and in the next tutorial I'm going to cover how to use um well how to use HTTP web request to post data um like to an online form such as a login form or a search form or whatever so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching make sure you check out the website for more tutorials and resources and I'll see you